Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Spurkus, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. And um, I do have a little bit of a deja vu because I remember that a couple of well, last year, basically. Was it last year? Two years already? I think it's last year. It was last year, of course. When I played this game here, I also started an episode um, on my way to the ditch go. I'm not quite sure where I am right now. There, there you go. And I started it pretty much over here. And I think it was still on pebbles or something. Looking all over pebbles over here. No, not looking all over pe pebbles. Looking all over the ditch go over here. So I want to find Riki because I want to go sooner or later, or sooner rather than later, over here to. Pribish Lavitz. So, um, with someone in here, I think. Now we're gonna move in here. Riding into town. Hello, sir. Are you a wayfarer? It appears you are. Well, in that case, I'm gonna steal from you, too. Why are you running away? Did I attack you or something? I can pickpocket at you while running. Don't know why. No, you bastard. Alright, fine. Run. Run for all I care. So, um... Yeah, this is how we're gonna look now for, for a while. With a nice, um... Seretic uh, garment and all that stuff. <clears throat> We might, we might find some more in the future. <clears throat> so I want to have like a mix. I, I want to have a bit um, of um, stuff. Like um, armor with us. Not completely just, you know, we could just go like that and then it's completely dark and you know, more noise and invisible. But um, unless we're really sneaking or are inside the, some sort of... There it is. Unless we're doing something special, I would like to actually... Oh, stand up. Good, Good boy. boy. Okay. Fuck off, boy. Fine, you get something to eat too. There you go. Did I take the dry meat also? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. All right. Let's ride into town. Hmm. Look at this town here. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love this game. Did I mention that before? I, I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. <laughs> what can I say? I fucking love this game. All right. <clears throat> so, Mr. Oh, you're that blacksmith who wants to these uh, parts of the weapon and all that stuff. What do you need? Well, what do you need? And yeah, this guy has everything, so he also buys everything. <laughs> Alright, I wanted to also run with the shield, why don't you have a shield on? Oh, put on the shield. Skelet's shield. So we are like in full... Well, we are in the uh, service of Sir Rezik, so, you know, we are a Skelet's soldier, so the Skelet's shield is appropriate. So, about Riki. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinek? He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Tried his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. So you know this Hinnock. Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? 
No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call him at Riki anyway? He's a tenor, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. <laughs> Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough. But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Pinnock's nature's no sweeter than his smell. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his own man. He doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Rate for thieving. And then Neuhoff, he got boosted up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits? Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. Yes, of course. All just honest folk. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Interesting, huh? So, you need any help? Is something troubling you? I wouldn't say it's troubling me exactly, my boy, but I've heard talk about the Sasso blacksmith and I'm losing sleep over. What talk might that be? They say they've heard him chanting when he tempers steel, and that nothing of his ever breaks. Really, aren't we? <laughs> Using spells to strengthen steel. That sounds like old wives' tales to me. That's what they say. They say he's always muttering something, and if anyone catches him at it, he stops at once and gives them dirty looks. Maybe he's just praying. Well... He's getting help of some sort, whether it's prayers or something less holy. And uh, how could I help with that? Simple enough. Go there and find out if there's any grain of truth in it. I suppose asking costs nothing. Just don't ask him outright about any sorcery. Don't worry, I'm not that daft. Well... Good. Good. And don't worry. You won't be the poorer for it. Once you find out what's what, I'll find a way to recompense you. Good, good. All right. I'll go and see if there's anything to the stories. Good. Good. I'll be subtle about it. Don't go embarrassing yourself. Or me. Hey, dude, the dude from the dude town over there. Ask this dude here if this dude is duding around, dude. Dude. Hello, my lady. That's great. Totally great. All right. Leduchka. What do we have here? That's the, the father. There's the winch. Weren't there like a couple more question marks around here? I thought there were like three question marks over here. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> there were three. Hmm. All right, Papa Bear. Oh, yeah, the tanner. It's the third one. Mr. Mr. Tanner. I'm honored that you should come to me. Yes, you should be. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Well, because fuck you, that's why. Because I'm an envoy of Sir Radzik, that one he will re respect. Watch your tongue, peasant. I'm an envoy of Sir Radzik Kabila, and this is an official investigation. Stop trying to put me off and tell me where your son is right now. I apologize if I offended you, young man. But still, I don't know where Hinek is. He turned up at the house a while back, but then he vanished again in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? Uh What? Look, it's been clear to me for a long time that my boy was headed for the gallows. But I'm still his father, right? And you can't expect me to rat on my own son. If you value your son's life at all, you better pray I find him. Because I'm not the only one looking for him. That's no surprise. But what of it? If you're here on behalf of Sir Radzik, there's nothing waiting for Hinnick but the gibbet. Hmm.
Well, maybe there's a way out. It doesn't have to be that way. If Hinnett cooperates, he can save his neck. I can't say you put my mind at ease. But to hell with it. I'll tell you what I know. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. But it's better than nothing. Thank you. I'd like to talk to you about... I'm very... Get any friends? Do you at least know any friends he's with or someone he goes to see? As far as I know, nobody here in the village talks to him. I heard he's seeing some bathhouse wench. Maybe. He can't get it for free, so I suppose he has to go to the baths. <laughs> don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. Of course I can't not. tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. What more do you know? Nothing. I swear to God Almighty, I've said all I know. Hinnick never told me nothing. Yeah, that one wasn't suspicious at all. I know he didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed something, right? How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? Yeah, nothing. Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say... Please go try and find and if he's really in as much shit as you say. Please try and find him. Be very careful. Like this is the main road. You see that one? That's the main bridge that they have here. Now if somebody tries to come through here with a wagon. He's going to have a hard time going through here. Um, yeah, the best way is probably to... <coughs> this is the shorter way, but that is an easier way to go to Neuhof, the inn, than through the woods here to Tarnberg. Hmm. Yeah, well... No, this one is not built for uh, any sort of carts or something. Hello, archery range. You. While we're here, hello, sir. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. You can. What's with the targets? Are you an archer by any chance? I notice you're asking questions. Are you the Inquisition by any chance? Yes. No, I'm Henry. Of Scalitz. From Scalitz. And that's it, from here. Why are you so <laughs> curious about the targets? It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer? All right, Henry, listen up. Chumps is a game for real archers. It tests your strength, stamina, and accuracy. And it can be a nice little earner. Unless you're, well, a chump. So what exactly is it? <laughs> I'll tell you. A bunch of logs are floated down the river. Then you count to 20, and the archers run along the banks after the logs. At the end of the course, someone collects all the logs and counts the strikes. Whoever has the most, always meaning me, wins the bout. Each archer has 20 arrows with their own colored fletching. And the contest ends when the last log floats through the finish line. 
Sounds like good fun. Fun? My friend, it will bring you out in a proper sweat, and you'll be well pleased to hit just one or two blocks. So how about it then? Fancy a bout? You'll need your own bow, but I'll supply the arrows with coloured fletching. Good. Some other time. It sounds interesting. Well, if you have... No. Because I want to check up. <clears throat> we leveled up. Yes, I did do some some training here and there. Um, like with the archer contest down here in Ratai. Which took quite a long while, honestly. Um, you don't really do much there. Shooting at life targets is just the better choice. Um, so... Um, let's do the taunt. Alchemy, I did two. Let's go with that one. Can make a shit ton of money with that then. That's good. All right, boy. Oh, wait, no, now. I wanted to look at our combat skill here, bow. 9 XP, alright, let's see. I'll change where well, I did come on then. Ah now you'll have to bet at least ten groschen. Fifty at most. There'll be so how much will you go all in? No half measures. What's there to say for anyway? Exactly. That's the betting over with. Now here are your arrows. Good luck to you. Okay. There they are. Bloody hell, the wind Yes. Damn it. Oh, that was bad. Mm. Can't go any further. The current could sweep me to my death. Oh, come on. There you go. was bad shit oh come on am I really that bad that I am a chump. Almost. All right. That's the finish line. And there was a shit one. The wind took it. Well, the only hope I have now is that they're gonna do something. And that's still 9 XP. So that doesn't do anything to experience points. Hmm. Another on so all we do is now losing money. from them. 
Oh no, not now. Damn it. Is that the finish line? Yes. <laughs> we even won. Nice. So, how did it Well done, Henry. You've come first. It looks like you really do know what you're doing with a bow. You're still not up to my standard, mind you, but a pretty good effort. Here are you. <coughs> oh no, it doesn't. Okay, it did give us 70. Okay, that's not too bad, honestly. Well, that is not too bad. I can do some more jumps. Just, you know, for jump stake. To level up more. My bow skill. Up to level 10 or. I don't know. Something like that. Wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt indeed. So, alright. Anyways, the last time I did this quest around here, I did go to the whore at the whore house. This time we're gonna go to the innkeeper and do whatever he has to for us. But first we need to... <clears throat> From the taverna. Um, that's the bathhouse. Lodgings, yes. The whore, bathhouse, not... yeah. Shit, the... Yeah. People walking? Yeah, I don't hear you. The biatch. Don't this, hmm. The miller over here. Butcher? No, Baker. Mm -hmm. There you go. Not too... Not too fast, Jenka. Not too fast. <coughs> there we are, the Butcher. The butcher and the Bitcher. Then we have the normal trader over here. Another trade over here, I think. No, that's a, that's a tailor. Maybe he has something interesting for us. And the final place, which is over here. Oh, come on. Uh, there you go. And a grocer. All right. So, uh, all right. Hmm. <clears throat> we got a couple of things to do around here. Let's um. Wait, what's this? Shoot again. Yeah, I'll do that in between episodes, I guess. During the night or something. Some training here and there would be good. Hello, Senor Taylor. I'm honored. You got nothing. Good. Hmm. I do like the black scarf too. Do we have one? I don't think we have one. I sold mine. Are we going to find a new one at some point? We're now at 12. This covers up too much. Just makes things worse. Mm. No, we're good. 
We're good. Now this one's too bleak. It's fine. All right. Thank you then. Nothing of interest in there. Hmm. Okay. And um, one of the millers wanted us to steal the seal ring from the merchant over here. Let's see what that one is. Hello, sir. You have it, huh? God be with you. Yeah, he has him with him. The Lord watch over. Hmm. <coughs> Any other books? No. I have made like 45 Savior Snaps, so we don't need to buy any of those. No, sir, we do not. Mm, and I can sell you that one. And that's pretty much it. There. You know what? I'd like to I'm even generous, well. so... There you go. My... Oh. No. So while he's awake... We can't do anything around here. What do you want here? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, piss off. Okay, we have to do this during the night. Well, when we're doing that, we can also pretty much uh, pick this place clean. I mean, we can carry quite a bit. Our horse is completely empty. You know, get the good stuff. <laughs> All right, so. Mr. Lodging's dude. Who are you? Fearless Felix. Ah. You probably know Ricky. Hmm. There's so much talk in here. <laughs> Nobody inside. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, you know, they put the atmosphere in here, but, um, yeah, not really. All right, sir. The sexless Hello. innkeeper. Jesus Christ be praised. So, you know something about what we can... Oh, wait a second. Is there somewhere I could sleep here? All right. All right. For how long? Forever. Well, that's a bit pricey, don't you think? How about a pay you less? <laughs> there you go. Yep. Thank you. Where's my bed? Where do that's easy. As soon as you go indoors. All right, I know where it is. Good. So you know something what's happening here? What's happening around here? Ah, you know how it is. Always something, especially at the mill. Not a week goes by without some ruckus there. But I'm wise to them troublemakers. Whenever they're planning some mischief, they're always little there in the corner, hatching their plots. Like yesterday, for instance. Oh, and another thing. Now I think of it. I've not seen Kunhuta here for some time. The local herb woman. She always comes here once a week for a tankard of ale. But she ain't turned up recently. Well, nothing's happened to her. What's happening around? Nothing much. All right. Now, Riki. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. But ask someone else. They have nothing to do with Riki. He'd only drive my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing, and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. All right, come on, man. I've no time for this. I have to find Hinek, and you're going to help me. Am I now? Even if I did know, why the hell would I help you? This is a nice alehouse you have here. It would be a shame if anything happened to it. <laughs> are you threatening me? What do you think? So are you going to talk, or do I have to beat it out of you? Fine. Let's get to the point then. <laughs> you know, where there's a will, there's a way. I did some deals with Riki, but I swear to God, I don't know where he is.
How much game did he bring to you? Yeah. How much game did he? How much can I bring you? Not much. A few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry hears something. Otherwise, it ends up in sausages. I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is, I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place, a cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so he had to have a light for that. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Watch over you. So, that's a couple over here. Check down Riki. Hmm. Alright, so I guess we, we still need to go to the whore in the whore house. I mean, the winch in the bathhouse. Come on, let's go and talk to her. Let's see what she says to us. Wait, can we. Madame? Jesus Christ, be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm and what is it you Well, I would like to. I'd like um bang 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 any bang. I said bang 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 any bang. Bang 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 any bang. Bang 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 any bang. Bang 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 any bang. Bang 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 any bang. Bang. You won't may the Lord Bang. Bang. Bang any bang. Bang bang. Bang. <laughs> and of course now, uh, a little bit of, well, it's, no, it's not really resting. He's not sleeping for an hour. He's getting cleaned and he's fucking for an hour. So I guess that's a good time. Are you the one? No. Where's, I wanted to have the other one. What she, what? <laughs> of duty or what? Alright, fine. Don't we get like a quest marker over here? There's a quest marker over here. That's already another one. What kind of a... Huh? Wait, is this, is this a tournament over here? Isn't that a tournament? What is it? I, I ignored this one before. This one was here also for a while now. Okay, I'm confused. But, okay, fellas, we're gonna take a break now. We're gonna talk to the bathmaid whore in the next episode, and then we're gonna, I don't know, I have to go each places, or... We're gonna find Riki and make him talk. So thank you very much for watching. I'll be um, playing some champs now. Probably just gonna level up, you know, one level. One level at a time, you know, one level at a time. Or maybe two. We'll see. See you next episode. Goodbye.